In this video we are using Substance 3D Sampler to create a nice jeans fabric material in minutes. Let's build this jeans fabric together. We'll also explore ways to tweak and edit the material. We're using a weave filter as basic fabric. Let's add it by clicking on the add a layer button, typing in weave and choose weave. Then we tweak the area size and density to make it more accurate. To get rid of the color irregularities, we use an equalize filter. Activate input tiled because the input is a tiled image and reduce the radius to zero. Now we use a brightness contrast filter and tweak the brightness and contrast to push the small color variation a bit. To rearrange the height map, we use the normal height adjustment filter and activate height. If we have to adjust the height of the displacement in the viewport, Use the displacement button and tweak the height scale. While we're at it, we should rename the material and save the project. I recommend doing this from time to time. For deformation, we choose the warp filter. As type, we take a simple warp with a really low intensity. The noise we change to BNW because it has some nice variety. Further, we increase the scale a lot to make it smaller. Let's randomize it a bit more to break up repetition. We use the clone stamp filter for this step. You can move the spot from where you clone manually or by holding Ctrl and clicking with the left mouse button. After this, simply paint in the 2D view to get rid of the areas you want. If you want to remove already painted areas, switch with E to the eraser tool and remove them. Let's use precision in combination with threshold to get a nice result. We use the colorize filter to give it a nice bluish jeans color. To bring in more variation, we now use pattern filters with different custom patterns. For the first one, we choose a light gray color, tweak the tiling and activate custom pattern. Then we click on the color icon under custom pattern and choose the custom pattern example I've done for this tutorial in Substance 3D Designer. You can also open the custom pattern example SPS file in Designer and tweak it to make different variations. Use your own black and white image or make a pattern in Photoshop or Illustrator. There are many ways to do it. As last step we decrease the pattern blur amount to make it less blurry. For the second one, we choose white as color and activate custom pattern. We choose the same texture and also decrease the blur. You can bring in lot more variation if needed or tweak again the brightness and contrast with another brightness contrast filter. To check the result in different lighting condition, we can choose between several different environment lights, till we find one that looks great. With shift and right mouse button we control the environment rotation. Here's our final result. You can save this setup as sampler archive to tweak the layers at a later time. Use send to to send it directly to another substance app. Export it as SPS AR for other 3D apps and engines. Or just export it to texture files. There's a way to get this material into every 3D software. If you want to experiment and learn more, you can download the file shown in the video. Thanks for watching and let us know any ideas or suggestions in the comments. See you in the next episode.